walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, a uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. That's about the only useful thing in here. Empty. That's what I figured. It's empty. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Uh, 
I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Teaching them anything? Trying to. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in ships. We'll see. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Our cat is going to be pissed. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Talk to you later. a fireball if we tried to blast through. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <coughs> mm, won't budge. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? 
Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. There's gotta be something useful in here. Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! so good no it did not go so good but we're okay everything's okay what's going on i thought i heard a gunshot we're fine we found some walkers you and an eight-year-old versus three of them huh It was stupid. You think? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. We're getting used to working together. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. 
Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Hi, girls. Hey. We were trying to get used to being on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot, that's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there, especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe we won't be around for a while. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. Crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. It's too far off the edge. Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting.
Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the...? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents... Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! 